In this problem, we've been given the eigenvalues and a matrix A, and we have to find the corresponding eigenvectors. And to do this, we're basically solving the fundamental eigenvalue eigenvector problem, which is that AX is lambda X. That means that A times our eigenvector is equal to the eigenvalue multiplied by the eigenvector. And we can write this out very simply. So we've got our matrix A multiplied by our eigenvector. That's equal to our eigenvalue multiplied by the same eigenvector. And for each eigenvalue, you will get a set of eigenvectors that correspond to it. We are interested in finding one such eigenvector for each eigenvalue. But of course, if you scale those, you can end up getting a full set of eigenvectors. So we're just looking at finding one initially. So the way to start it is to divide it in half. So we've got one eigenvalue and the other eigenvalue, and we'll solve the problem for each of these. So the first thing we're doing is we're remembering that we're doing AX equals lambda X. So our vector and our matrix can be written out. So we've got our matrix A multiplied by the eigenvector is equal to our eigenvalue multiplied by that eigen vector. And we can see we could do matrix multiplication and multiply all this out. So we've got two times x1 plus two times x2, that's gonna be equal to four x1. There's one equation. We could work out a second equation for completeness and that's what we get if we multiply it out. Now you can see for the second equation, if we were to add x2 to both sides, we get something very simple. So five x1, equals 5x2, or in other words, x1 equals x2. So we get a eigenvector that looks like this, 1, 1, because x1 equals x2. We could, of course, have 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5. All of those would work. But our eigenvector of 1, 1 is going to be our starting point there. We've then got minus 3, and we just repeat the same process. There is our um, eigenvalue problem and we've just replaced the eigenvalue with minus three because we're looking at the second eigenvalue. We multiply it out in exactly the same way and we get these two expressions. We can do various things, but probably the simplest thing to do is look at the second equation and add x2 to both sides. And that tells us that 5x1 is minus 2x2. And we can rearrange that quite simply, divide both sides by five, and we get this. And then we can start suggesting possible values and working out combinations of um, eigenvectors that would work. So a very simple one would be just to say, let's take x2 as 5. We substitute 5 in and we get the corresponding x1 of minus 2. And there we have the corresponding eigenvector. So hopefully this was helpful to you. Please like and subscribe. And um, thank you for watching.